You know the, the guy in yesterday's film uh, <laughs> reminded me a lot of Moana, not of Moana herself, of um, the the one that what Maui. Yeah. He, he, Bill he, Paxton. No. J. Chandrasekhar. <laughs> What's his name? The Steve Levy. What? Paul Soda. Berg. What? Eric Lansky. I'm confused. Um, the the big fella. The the one who massages people, the masseuse. Um, he 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 had that big physique, and he. I was wondering if he I was still Hawaiian. Did last summer. Check I was out. I was wondering if he was Hawaiian. Is he Hawaiian? Are you Hawaiian? Because you're whining. I'm Andrew Jones. I'm whining. It's Johnny Ellis. Hello. Welcome to Are You Movie Mad? Bonus episodes. It's Broken Lizard Week. Yes. What are we watching today? Today we we've, we've had on. on guessing from since yesterday. We watched Club Dread yesterday. And uh, yeah, we're not doing it in order. Well, we are doing it in order after the first one. It's still one, because okay. we're watching Beer Fest. Beer Fest. Beer Fest. Rated eighteen. Uh, it looks to me like it's set in it the eighties. It is set in a place in Maine. It is actually set in the eighties as well. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, it looks to me like Beer Fest is set Beer in Fest. the eighties or seventies. Why? I don't know the way they're dressed. The I don't know. They've got like blue. Zipped up jump jacket jumper things on and I think that uh, the guy in front's hairstyle looks very sort of old fashioned. Okay, don't tell him that. Um, Jay, Jay Chandra if you're out there. But then the two yeah, girls with the shiny red things on. Is it Quartet. the same girl? The one girl. They could be twins. Yeah. Basil. Um they look quite modern. So maybe it's a time... Ooh, it's a time-travelling yeah, beer comedy. Sci-fi. Yeah, time-travelling beer comedy. <laughs> Bro, I just threw up all over a caveman. <laughs> Barbecue! Um, beer excellent to each other. 107 minutes, so 10 minutes less. 10 minutes shorter. Is it? Oh, well. That was 113 minutes was yesterday. So. Oh, wait. Jesus, that was long. Yeah. What does this one contain, by the way? On the 18 rating? Um, strong sex. Yeah. Language. Oops. And soft drug use. Aww. So no pills, just powders. Yep. Soft drugs. No, no one's injecting anything into each yeah. other. They're just um, putting it in the ether. Two of the four shots on the back here are uh, include people chugging beers. Right. And the other two include uh, blonde bimbos. And what's that thing down there say? Two. Drink aware. Drink aware. Don't go into your game. Yep, it's uh, got that on the back, Jessica, to remind you. Hey, you know, alcoholism <laughs> isn't fun. Teaching responsibility and treat women with respect. It's nice to have to add that onto the DVD. This is a Weinstein film. Um, <laughs> it's crazy how he just hung himself, isn't it? <laughs> Fuck. Could you imagine? That's not. You don't need to imagine. <laughs> he slit his wrist. He hung himself. He castrated himself, and then he ch- ca- carved into his chest. And, uh, you know, I say chest, I mean his whole body. <laughs> this extended essay with footnotes, which he carved into his foot, about why what he did was right and how the world is wrong and how in decades' time we will understand what he did was the best thing to do and the Pope will stand up for him. <laughs> we miss you half. But then for Can to to plan that whole um, memorial service for him. I think bringing Lars back yeah. to a, a documentary memorial yeah. was a really fascinating choice. Mm-hmm. They won the Palm Dock. <laughs> They've never given that out before. They figured we have to make an award for half. Our boy. <laughs> our best friend. It was great to get Morgan Freeman to narrate it as well. <laughs> and you know what? As Stan is ago, Jeffrey Temple was really, really effective. I would have preferred Kevin Spacey. Yeah, yeah. but the, you know, he, he, they both did nice jobs playing the ballsack. <laughs> In the scenes where they had to explore Asia Argentus. <laughs> I have a hotel room. <laughs> the UK. Yeah. <laughs> this is a comedy podcast. I have a feeling um <laughs> me too. Beer Fest is gonna be a hashtag me too. Uh, no, no, hashtag. Is gonna be oh, fuck. Hard. Fifty shades of a hmm, a high school comedy. Okay. <laughs> a high school comedy. Only soft drugs. Yeah. Um It's vape. 
Beer fest. All right. Beer fest. Oh, it's a bunch of students that. Oh, they look quite old. They look like old students. Oh, so it's, it's like a, it's like they've gone to an old school. They're returning to their old co- college. Okay. Mm-hmm. And they're starting up a an annual beer festival. I'll read the top after the let the beer games begin. Okay. Twenty four hours in a day. Twenty four beers in a case. Coincidence. One beer an hour. That's boring. Well, I just, just saying, you know. They're, they're, yeah. Not in this high brow. Without comedy. <laughs> See what I did. Right? Yeah, I'm not gonna read any more. But Spelling. It, it's it's wit. So yeah, beer fest. What are you uh, anticipating from the Broken Lizard Boys? I expect you said it to everyone's be... gonna be a different genre, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. This will be a high school comedy. This will be a high school comedy. Yeah. Um, okay. I think this is gonna... not high school, college. College. Com- yeah. Oh, uh, it's so be... it's uh, campus, campus antics. Yes, exactly. Your animal That's, houses. Yeah. yeah. Your old schools. I've not seen Animal House, but yes. Old school. I think I might have seen it. But you think it if you have, if you think you might have seen it, you haven't seen it. Then I haven't seen it. Frank the Tank. Pretty sure I watched it once and it wasn't a big fan. Well, you're um, wrong. It's amazing. Okay. Vince Vaughn is our greatest. I human have a feeling, and I don't, I don't know why, but I have a feeling Beer Fest is going to be Beer coarse, fest. crass, and crude. Mm. Summit tells me. Yeah, I don't know where you're getting that from. No. I just know that this is completely totally uncut. I also think it's going to be very Daily Star. Wait. Um... Now, I'm pretty I'm, sure I'm... there's only one re- There's only one shot in this that was uh, out of the 15 rated version. All right. And it doesn't have to do with anything except uh, a certain act which can be considered imitable. Imitable? Yeah. So the, the, the dangerous young, you know, the, the, the precious young minds of a 15-year-old watch it and maybe imitate it, whereas the 18-year-olds who get drunk and stoned would be like, oh, that's dumb, I wouldn't do that. Well, you know you were saying um, I'm going to be surprised that the big names that turn up. Sure. Um, you think Jackass? No, no. Because well, no. Joey Knoxville was in Jukes of Hazard, so, you know, that's the best I need to find his name. Uh, Carradine. Is he, wow. Is he in it? Uh, wow. You're, well, you're talking about things that could be imitable. But just just knowing that he did that is not necessarily what they're going to put on. Do you reckon they put that on camera? They would get him into it. Maybe, maybe it's like uh, the crow, and um, that's you know. That was the last shot. Yeah. Was, uh, he died for beer fest. Yeah. Okay. I don't think anyone died for beer fest. You don't know. Well, you do, but I don't know. Maybe. So shall well, we you die for beer fest. We'll come back in two hours' time and see if there's two people left on this podcast. It's better be better than the last one. <sighs> Means we're on recording again. Memphis, Memphis, everyone's friends. Still had a bit of an issue of being a bit too long. It is too long. Yeah. 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 But it's a lot more jokes than this. Yeah, it, it's it's consistently funny. And there's Donald Sutherland. Like, yes. <laughs> and Cloris Bloody Leechman. What a treasure. And it sets up a sequel which I would <laughs> that, love to watch. Yes. Is there ever going to. No. Have to, well, it could get, uh, I mean, Super Troopers got kickstarted a sequel, so, you know, yeah. one day maybe we'll be a fest. But I think? Maybe. We'll see. I mean, Super Troopers was, 2 was surprisingly strong here in yeah, America. So that's true. We don't know. So you want more Willie Nelson fun? Yeah, I want Willie. I want a Willie Nelson, um, but I can't remember their troop name. Broken Lizard movie. Yeah. Well, that's kind of Dukes of Hazard. Yeah, but... The no. uncut version of Dukes of Hazard. Yeah. The hard swearing version of Jukes of Hazard. Yeah. Yeah, have you seen Jukes of Hazard? No. So you don't know? No. You know at the end when he's you know those moments when he's just telling that silly joke? Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much the last half hour of Jukes of Hazard. Really? It's just him. It's during the car chase and Burt Reynolds and everything else. He's just doing these one liners, everyone's laughing and having fun. Because it's Willie Nelson doing very raunchy jokes. I should watch that. It's fuck no, it's it's on our list because it's. Oh, right, okay. You know, I love it. I think it's a wonderful film. I know everyone was on like downbeat when it yeah, came out. Yeah, but we're talking about Jukes of Hazard. Yeah. Not yet. <laughs> Clonk. <laughs> so physical humour for me. Um, tell me about the first time you saw. Beer Fest. Beer Fest. It would be on DVD when I rented it from Blockbuster mm. when it came out, and uh, me and my brother laughed. Silly, and uh, the uh, landfill ten-minute sequence leading up to the big reveal of his twin brother 
just had us quoting giggling for ages because of course it did it's one of those films just, I mean it's that's so ridiculous we've gone for 10 minutes of every rose has a thorn everyone's really sad there's a funeral sequence and then the big twist comes and it's a real fuck you to the concept of these kind of movies where there's a sad moment it's conceptually so genius stu- so stupid but it's, but it's such yeah. on, it's on a great level of yeah. stupid um, it's incredibly dumb now as, yeah. as a non beer drinking that's the person, thing you don't like beer you were no. talking all the way through like oh it looks disgusting and it I'm is just, disgusting and beer I'm just licking my dis- lips going I would like a lot of that please beer is the most disgusting beverage ever it really is Marmite shake. Oh. Boom. Who in their right mind would make a Marmite shake? There are crazy people out there. No. I bet you there's some hipster in Hackney who's thinking, you know what? You either love it or you hate it. And everyone likes a milkshake, so put them two together. They did Marmite chocolate. True. You know? Marmite shake. Marmite protein shake. Oh. There you go. It's beef extract goodness. Marmite crisps. Mm-hmm. Yep. Rice cakes. Super freaky shake. Marmite. No Miss features. Marmite lover. Ooh, this is going to be terrifying. Ew. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Suddenly Should beer be tastes really nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Still, beer's disgusting. I, dis- I mean, I used to think like that. Beer tastes like nothing. That's what's disgusting no, about it. It doesn't. It really does. It just tastes like... Hops and... Yeast. Yeah, who wants... Who wants to drink that? Mm. Like, the amount of times... Not a lot had, of people on Earth. The amount of times I've had people going, oh, you just got to get used to it, or you got to, you know, learn to love it, or whatever. There, will be, there might be a moment. I mean, I'm not sure if it happens to everybody. There might be a moment as you grow older that it'll click in. But You're obviously uh, underdeveloped as it is. I gave it a taste. I didn't like it. I did that I when know I was I young. I don't like it. I did that when I was a baby. I gave it another taste on your birthday last year. Yeah. Yeah. Debt. You took Great me. One. You took me all the way in central. Central London. We <laughs> central had to. London. We had to order fries in order to get the drinks. They weren't going to just go order drinks there, mm. just so you could taste a quality Bur- a Belgian brew that is phenomenal. Vedette. I think it's one of the best. It's you know that. I you know what Heineken. Heineken is delicious. But you don't like uh, Red Bull? No, I've never tried it. You've never tried never Red Bull? never dared try it. Well, here's something interesting. No, it sounds terrifying. I don't You've want my heart to race. I, I, the idea of an energy drink freaks me out. I don't want to do that. What if I have a heart attack? Coca-Cola's got caffeine in it. No, but energy. The level of, When they say it's an energy drink, that's like, oh, okay, I don't want that. I would like to have just a comfortable soft drink. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think for episode 100 nope absolutely not I refuse no this is actually a personal stance I'd never want to have one of those it's like smoking seriously yeah honestly absolutely what if it was a sugar free Red Bull or something like that no it's not the point I don't want to have one of those things how do you know you don't like it unless you I don't want to know if I don't like it I know I don't want to inject heroin into my eyeball you know (laughs) I don't need to inject into that that man (laughs) I know. Look, you've got a lust for life, and I get it. But not all of us. I can't believe you. Know, I can't believe you've never. You've never how can tried you not believe? How can you? Why? What's so but weird? You should at least try it. Yeah. Why should I at least try it? It came out at the time. I was like, oh, I don't want that. Hmm. Yeah, it became popular when I was a teenager, and I had enough energy. I'll tell you something. I had all the energy. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't believe the kind of energy I had. I was up all night. But watching films not like I understand you not wanting to um, inject heroin into your eyeballs heroin's illegal Red Bull isn't yeah but 4 Loco was what's so 4 Loco? get 4 Loco up on your system my friend this was the energy drink about 5-6 f- years ago before it got bad really? <laughs> you got Spy Kids on DVD? yeah probably 3D? yes Jesus Christ Oh, okay. You've got Showa. I thought you just had a... Which is better a picture from... No, I fucking you, bought that. Why would you buy Showa? Episode what? 100. Jeez, that's a comedy. That's fun. Alcoholic beverages. Hmm? Four loco. Four loco. Yeah. Malt beverages. 
Was it a malt? I thought it was heavy. I thought it was a very heavy energy drink. That was his point. It's like it's really possibly possibly to the point of actually getting banned illegal. Four loco. That's such energy. I think it's CO. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We'll go to Wikipedia. <laughs> okay, I thought it was uh, that everyone's like it's the new energy drink, like it's the insane energy drink with yeah, that's it definitely got something going on as well that like, got people oh, fucked up. It's an alcoholic energy drink. There you go. You see, you see. That's pretty cool. That's pretty fucked up. There you go. That's your dream. Good luck. My dream was still the twenty-four energy drink. I'm still determined to find one. <laughs> A can of that somewhere. My dream is my friend would drink beer because I can't drink at the moment. I had a glass of wine a couple of weeks ago. That was nice. Drinking beer. Um, you should drink beer. It's really good. It really isn't. It, it but it is. As a guy who doesn't like beer, mm. I did like this film. It didn't right. make me thirsty. Thank God. Um, I was drinking the entire time. Yeah, I, <laughs> you know, you know, I still haven't. Quenching. Even, I've not even started the can I opened. Because I, I finished. He's off. wasting energy drinks during this. I'm not wasting it. I'm not obviously going to drink it by the end of the night. Yeah, but then tomorrow you have to open another one. And then tomorrow, the next day. I'll go to the shop. And the next. That's the only thing that gets me out of the house. <laughs> Creeps in from day to day. <laughs> um. I don't you don't you come out to to the studio recording studio every time? I do. Time? Yeah. That's one thing. Yeah. And when you go and see Solo three or four or five times, I've not seen, seen Solo. It? I don't yeah. think I'm going to see it at all. Well, it's it's, I middle, might it's go, middle of June. You've seen it at least five times. I might right? go after I see uh, 2001: Space Odyssey tomorrow night. What date is that? Um, the 26th of. Yeah, 26th. Well, that's last. That's three weeks ago. Yeah. This is. Six, I might have seen it, but I don't this know. Is Can't tell you for sure. 12th of May, uh, June. Jesus, I'm losing it. We're mid June here. Screw your two thousand one. Screw your space Odessi. I just don't think I'm gonna like it. I don't know, maybe I'll go see it. I was gonna go see it after we recorded, but no. Too late two thousand one. Um I haven't seen it. You've never seen two thousand one? Oh, I saw it when I was a kid, but I don't remember much from it. Cheers, do you know why? <laughs> it's very unmemorable. Oh, I think it's gonna look nice. Monkey even then. Monkeys. Walking around a spaceship, woman comes through, lots of shots of spaceship, giant black thing, jumping around, red eye, giant black thing, death, star baby, credit. Nice music. Even that's not true. I'm sorry. Overused classical bullshit from Classic FM. You want the real stuff, go on the midwaves. How 9000? How, how to. That's how for now, Carol Vorderman. <laughs> Really? Yeah. You're so British. <laughs> <laughs> How British am I? Rather. <laughs> oh, right, oh tally ho, chip chip. I, I really need to stop you're, eating. You're like one of those Piccadilly whores. <laughs> <laughs> that was a reference from yesterday's Ooh. episode. Um, Which director changed hands to take? I played an English one. Now we have two British. I was hoping he was going to keep the English accent going no. for all these films. No. Um, one day he's going to play an Indian character, could you imagine? No. That's ridiculous. That's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, he's going to play a poo. <laughs> no, he's yeah, just that, going to play a big pile of shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Uh, this is it's it's a step up from yesterday's. It's a step up to... The streets. Cool. Um, it's a step up five. Havana Night? No, that's Dirty Dancing 2, isn't it? Yes. What's step up five? Isn't that all in? Is it? Yeah. How do you know? Well, step up four Did is... Did you see the step up film? I've never seen a single step up film. Step you up three is step much up about... 3D. Step up four, was that, uh, is that Florida or something? I was going to say Hurricane Heist, wasn't it? Something yeah. like... Uh, was it Rise of... I don't remember what it's called. Four is the one I'm confusing on. I know it's like a Up Rise or something. I didn't know the step up universe. <laughs> There's... The well, yeah, SUCU. Because the step, cause step Up 5 All In is when they get some of the characters from the earlier films as well as the later films <laughs> all together as one big thing. That's the point of Step Up 5. Welcome to Are You Step Up Mad? Step, step Up 4 Miami Heat, I apologise. Andrew, 
Are you step up mad? I've never seen a single step up film. Andrew, so you better step up mad. You better step up. Because mm-hmm. I need a film. And my heart is set on YouTube. Fair enough. Yeah. Right. Cool. Um. Incredible dancing, terrible story. <laughs> That's not my opinion, but just this. Ah, it was also called Step Up Revolution. There we go. Mm. I, know, I told you Miami Heat was something else. Not Dance Dance as a revolution. Charles Dance's Dance Dance Revolution. <laughs> revolution. <laughs> um, TV series, Step Up High Water. So this came out in 2006. Seven, I believe. All right. And the other one came out in 2004. Yep. So was there anything between those? No? Can't imagine. Yep, Dukes of Hazard. Oh, right. So for the director, for J. Chandra's sake, I was right. the director, and Kevin Heffernan pops up in that film, hmm. as does Willie Nelson, obviously, hmm. and M. C. Ganey, who is in both of these films. Who? Mm-hmm. Is in Django Unchained. Who? Is in Django Unchained. Doctor Who. Yeah. Mm. You're right. You don't call him Doctor Who. You no, I was asking doctor. who to the who, who. The Doctor is his name. Which it's Doctor? Not, no, no. It really, it, wasn't pisses you. it really pisses me off when people go, oh, you know, blah blah is playing the new, the new Doctor Who, or blah blah is, you know, Peter Capaldi is playing Doctor Who. No, he's not. He's playing the Doctor in Doctor Who. He's not playing Doctor Who. Doctor Who isn't a character. Freddie Highmore's not playing the good Doctor, but everyone says, oh, he's in the good Doctor. He's the good Doctor. Yeah. Because I can't imagine he's a bad Doctor. No. But he's the good doctor. But yeah. That's not his name. It's probably Doctor Florence Cartwright. Right. But play, saying that he's, he is the good doctor makes more sense than saying, than saying he's Doctor Who. It's like saying Doctor Logan Wienerschnitzel. It's like saying uh, Kiefer Sutherland is twenty-four. No, he's much older. See, doesn't make much sense, older. does it? No, well, he probably was at one time. I think um, I could tell you one year he was definitely twenty-four. Hmm. It's, it's like probably when he was a lost saying uh, Andy Maybe Samberg his career is, flatlined. It's, it's like saying Andy Samberg is playing Brooklyn Nine Nine. But it's not. Brooklyn Nine Nine's not a character, is it? It's the title of the show. He's he, playing Jake Ferrolta in Brooklyn Nine Nine. He could be playing Brooklyn Nine Nine. No, no, no. The the point of the fact is the point of the matter, right? Is that it's the Doctor. Will in Forte Doctor is playing the Last Man on Earth. In the Last Man on Earth. He is the last man on Earth in The Last Man on Earth, right? But he's not. Who, he isn't the, man, the last man on Earth. No, but that's not revealed until like five episodes into the first season. Right, but the the idea of the show, the concept of the show, mm-hmm. is that he is the last man on Earth. Absolutely his character. Not. No. The, no? No? That's not how it's set up. It's not set up as he is the last man on Earth. It's he is lost and alone. Look, I'm right and you're wrong. That's all we need to know here. No, because right? it's great. It's, it's not... If you think beer is great, at movie underscore mad on Twitter and say beer is great. Beer is disgusting, cold. right? That's four L's. I would rather have um, five uh, tons, tons, five tons of, of energy drink than in than one five one, seconds drinking. Yeah, period. than one uh, beer one over milliliter. the course of your life. One milliliter of beer, not one one drop of beer. One drop that you had mm. to have over the course of your lifetime. Mm. You wish you could drink anything else. Or you would have to drink 500 gallons of Red Bull within a five minute session, otherwise, you explode and die. What new? Hmm. It's just, um, it's just the, the thirds in the. Not the transporter, what's it called? Crank? Yeah. Fourth? In the, no, third. Third. Yeah. I'm sorry. I you love don't... Crank. Um, it's almost time for Craig's giving. Got a couple of months to go. How will you so celebrate? Much, energy drinks are so much nicer. You get different flavours. You don't get different flavours of, of beers. Don't even try that with me. I've had coconut know, blah, blah, beer. Blah, blah, blah. What? There's banana beer, chocolate beer. No. Lime beer. There's no beer. such fucking thing. That's what it is. Flavoured beers. No. They're they say absolute. it's flavoured, but it's not flavoured. It's like saying there's flavoured I have had a coconut beer out of a coconut shell. That's not. It was. It doesn't, doesn't taste of it. It tastes exactly like coconut and beer. Alright, you find me an orange flavoured beer. I will give it a taste. And I can tell you, right now, it's going to taste of cat piss. Don't ask me how I know that. I just do. Right? 
Because I think we have to go I back to the same place it. I took you last time. Now we've got Cinewell card deals. Right, all right. Um, I've been meaning to do a blind test on energy drinks to see if I can, uh, n- if I'd know which one's a monster, which one's a Red Bull, which one's a Relentless, which one's this, which one's that. Which one's a cheap one from Lidl. The cheap ones from Lidl are actually really nice. When I'm poor as hell, 49p big can of energy drink, it'll do nicely. Okay. So maybe we could do that for episode 100. That doesn't sound fun for me. Or the listeners. What? Doesn't sound hey. fun for any of us. What? I'm thinking purely of myself right now. Yeah, I know you're right. very selfish. We'll go through the dark beers they offer, the lagers. Come on, you beauty. There's no orange flavoured uh, beer because beer doesn't have a flavour. Unless you Beautiful unless flavor. you count nothingness of flavour. Pure nothingness. It's not nothingness. You said it, it has you said it has a horrible flavour. It's a horrible flavour of nothing. It's like water that's gone off. It's like fizzy water that's not even that fizzy that's gone off. That's what it is. The bubbles aren't even fizzy. Orange blossom. I would go for that because Johnny Cash is his uncle Orange Blossom special. So I'll go for an orange Yeah, but this isn't special. This is just a normal drink in a fruity beer land. Alright, we'll, we'll give it a try. A oh, will we, Tim? <laughs> is the star of Star Trek The Next Generation. Yeah, we'll, we'll give it a try. But You'll I, have a glass of Crusher. I'll, I'll give it a try. Okay. But I guarantee you now, we'll you'll be all... finishing it off. because <laughs> I don't even like orange. Who doesn't like orange? Me. Orange is the bomb. No, bombs are the bomb. That's kind of the point of them. Stop saying bomb. Well, Jim gets very nervous at that point. Why? I don't know. He's not here right now. Yeah, but he's my landlord. He's yeah. got this place bugged. I'm pretty sure of it. Well, maybe he needs to get this place bombed. Shh. He can't hear me. You're going to wish he didn't Everything say that. Everything is gonna... fine. Ah! <laughs> I tried. I bombed your face. I tried. I tried. What the What are we watching? Uh, we've just finished watching uh, some beer film. Yeah, oh, beer. Not a fan. Hmm? Not a fan. Thank you. It's not very nice. No, I like a wine a or a whiskey. Wine at least has more flavour. It's grape juice, basically. Bit of a bourbon, like a biscuit. I love bourbons. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Um, What's your allergy drink? Joie de vivre. Joie de vivre. Joie de vivre. What? vivre. What's your choice? My my choice. Yes. Is well, it's um. Number one. The, the doctor. It's no called the Doctor Who. <laughs> I know. I'm in the industry. I've been auditioning for it for fifteen years. Before they even announced it's coming back, I was going around with a bow tie, going, mm, "Hello, me." Oh, oh, oh. Been in Doctor Who. Probably not. <laughs> I love how you've been so much. I mean, it, let's face it, if I was, I was very drunk. Not on beer. <laughs> it's a wine drunk, it goes right through you. You remember nothing. Mm. Good times, I think. Possibly not. Jeez. What if I did something horrible? Like, I don't know, bought a flat and had someone live underneath me. Oh dear. What is my life? I just I'm an actor. I, I do adverts. I, I searched your name and someone's uh, and it's come up with a uh, series suggested website. Yes. What dark, terrible things will Game of Thrones do to Jim Baldwin? Oh, is this pre-season tell seven? Tell me, tell me what they would like yeah, to do. Yeah, it was last year. Oh, uh, no. what could have been? We already know what dark, terrible things they did. Like it didn't give you. The didn't phone. give me a role. Mm-hmm. Yes. Jim You're very Baldwin. angry. When I was set on Ireland in the last couple of months, they didn't need me. They said, in fact, bugger off, Jim. Quite rude. Played enough. the 11th Wait. Doctor in the Curse of the Fatal of fatal Death. Nope. Definitely not me. Possibly another Jimothy Broadbent. <laughs> Certainly not me. Um, cool. 1987 drink is terrible. 1999. I shouldn't drink his drinks. Yes, okay. well, he Listen, I've got say the, Bob. I've got the rent for you. I know you don't like cash. Johnny. <laughs> you like Johnny, I know. Mm. Um, so you 
head upstairs and get ready and I'll give you the <coughs> rent. Okay. We need to finish up this podcast and I can't do it. Is it a fistful of do- dollars? You know what it is. It's you know what I do thing. for it's a few dollars, th- more. It's the only thing you accept. It's good. It's bad. And it's ugly. Nothing. Why? <laughs> because I can't get gun. I did warn you. Why are we here? Because did you get somewhere else to live? Oh, oh did Bebby hurt himself? I think I did. Oh no, you hurt yourself. Don't make my me j- say the B word. My jaw's disaligned. Yeah, well, that's your own fault. It's not it? my own fault, it's Paul Bentis. Paul Bentis. Paul Bentis. There we Bentis. go. There we go. Is it Paul Bentis? Paul Bentis. Paul Bentians. <laughs> Paul Bench. <laughs> Paul Church. Yeah, why wasn't he on that? As the murderer, because he's a monster. <laughs> well, don't drink that. Oh, okay. I didn't. What did he do? Nothing. It's fine. Oh, okay. I wouldn't do it. Mm. Um. Tastes. You need to go get tested first. It tastes least. like something, so it's not beer. <laughs> You need to go to a sex clinic. To get some lessons. Oh, mm. wait. That's knock on me, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> I get my lessons upset. I mean, yeah, you're um... going to go have a knock on yourself, aren't you? <laughs> well, I've got a Serbian film on DVD. Why not? Because you should get it are, on are you asking why I don't have it on Blu ray? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it wasn't even that bad. I've seen worse. I've done worse. I mean, <laughs> go on. No, I can't. Rich talk about that. detail. <laughs> no, I'm asking my friend Rich to detail. It. He's a sketch artist. Um, he just basically does uh, images <clears throat> of Alec Baldwin and SNL. Um, <laughs> be a fish. Is this your favourite of the? No, no. Super Gosh, Troopers. No. Super Troopers is your favourite. I'm not going to spoil all things. Okay. But we may be going not just in a certain way, but in a certain mountain. From the bottom to the top. Right. Is the it bottom. a learning mountain? No, yeah. Is this Hobbit related? No. Oh. It's William Defoe related. The narrator of Mountain. No idea. Available for 99p on iTunes the week that we recorded this. Oh. I may be watching it in 4K. You do far too much research for this podcast. Wondering why it even existed. <laughs> Um, the mountain it explores us all <laughs> some people use it for online views when would you have... I get you next time Spider-Man when would you have... <laughs> when would you have cut off this film probably after three points <laughs> when would you have when would you have ended this film oh after Claus Leachman has moved around a sausage in her hands <laughs> that's pretty prime <laughs> oh, she's so good yeah. She's, at time of recording I'm glad she's still alive <laughs> remember the, enti- the entirety of Raising Hope what's this on the news she was always credited as and introducing Cloris Leachman on what Raising Hope oh <laughs> which was what 2010 to 2013 it was always right. and introducing Cloris Leachman <laughs> just, that's just did you ever watch um, Hope and Faith sitcom yes it's good I did. One. no no? No, it's terrible. I don't remember much. Absolutely awful. Ted McGinley. That and uh, Eight yeah. Simple Rules. Two. The ABC Eight one. Eight Simple Rules was so good. Did yeah, it was. It? Wasn't it? And then it got very yeah. bad very quickly for no. some reason. And it wasn't James Garner's fault. Spade. The I love Spade. David Spade, isn't it? He was great. He was awkward. He did not fit into that role. Right. I don't think he does well in front of a multi-camera thing. I mean, Rules of Engagement is also embarrassing. I feel like he works best if you can tone him down a little bit. No Joe Dirts. How many seasons do you think it would have gone had um, things not transpired the way it did? Probably it would have. I mean, it did pretty decent ratings because mm. they could continue for a year and a half afterwards. It was two. I think thing. It I, would I feel like that would have been like a still been going a nine to eleven season run. Yeah. Yeah. 
Such a shame. Would have got into possible grandchildren territory, which would have been really fun. Mm. Martin Spangers wouldn't have gone and I'd know whatever he's done now. What is Martin Spangers up to? Who's Martin Spangers is the star of daddy with Michael Chiklis. The boy from Ace of Oh, Games. I didn't know he'd done anything. <laughs> Not from that. No, he, was, he was in daddy with Michael Chiklis. Right. You know Michael Chiklis. Sure. The Thing from the first two Fantastic Four movies. Oh, right, yeah. You know. From The Shield... Yeah. One of the great TV shows. Really? You like The Shield? Like The Shield? Love The Shield. Are you kidding? That was your kind of show. You don't like 24, Michael do Chiklis and Walton Goggins from Sean Ryan. Oh, I didn't think you liked cop dramas. It's not, it's not cop drama as in like nothing things. It's intense, tough crime thriller. Why are they intense? <laughs> you mother flipper oh. Martin Span Martin Spangers um but you don't like uh, 24 do you not really no it's very mm. every season's kind of the same whereas The Shield takes a story I'm sorry every years. season is not the same but, well okay one season it's nuclear one yeah. season it's presidential kidnapping one season it's nuclear one season it's presidential kidnapping he did a short film, Tim of the Jungle, a couple of years ago. Mm-mm. Black Jesus. Blue Ross, Masked Man. One number two. season is nuclear, one season is um, biological. Then the next season's nuclear, biological. He did one nuclear, episode biological. of Family Guy. So it's not every season. He was on two episodes of the new 902 one. change the subject. He did so a film called Frenemy not. with a terribly uh, photoshopped Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> it's, clearly, it's clearly not Terrible. every season is the same, is it? I mean, no, but it's it's very repetitive. Whereas the shield isn't repetitive. Glenn Close comes in for a couple of seasons. Yeah, Which well, is great in that. Well, you know, um, they have a woman president in twenty four eventually. Cool. Yeah. So I don't like women or presidents. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. To <laughs> are you woman mad? Are you mad about women? Why are you woman mad? Are the same thing? Women are mad. Alright, let's stop this conversation. No, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Get into the farm. <laughs> we're, we're on the shield now. Do you want to put uh, Hillary in jail? I think we should lock her up. Lock her up, that is it. That is the phrase. And what do you what do you want uh, Trump to have? I... I just want to show you. Uh, this is uh, the this is the fourth world actor with a shield. This is the uh, one thing in his trivia. Forty five out of forty seven people found this interesting. Come mm-hmm. and read. It's Michael Jace. You know the story now. Read it out loud, boy. All right, all right. Read it out loud, boy. <clears throat> On June 10, 2016, Jace was sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole after forty years for murdering his wife. He was convicted of a second degree murder in May 2016 after a trial that only lasted a week. What? Jace. Who's Michael Jace? Michael Jace. Oh, him. He's the mm. fourth build actor in The Shield on IMDb. Mm, what? Because doesn't. he's Hollywood. Yeah. I actually got what, this is just from Universal Studios Hollywood. <laughs> it is telling me that I do not get to make another film. Because I was making jokes about Jurassic Park. Well, that's your own fault. But I wasn't making jokes about Jurassic Park. I was making jokes about Jurassic World. Jurassic Park's perfect. Hmm. Not the best Spielberg thing. Look at his spouse. April Denise Lawton. Oh. From. I don't know. 19th, they were married between the 3rd of June 2003 oh, right. and <laughs> 19th of May 2014, her death. <laughs> fun! Isn't it fun? So much fun. Where's Walton Goggins? Perfect. Walton Goggins mm. is the best. Are you excited for Ant-Man and the Wasp? Um, I am With Walton Goggins and Michelle yeah. Pfeiffer and no one else. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, Lawrence Fishburne is popping up as well from John Wick Chapter 2. Oh. What, same character? I assume so. I need to double build. Are you excited John Wick Chapter 3? Yeah. N- nothing's been released though. Just Jason Manzoukas. Just a poster. Jason Manzoukas is in it. They've confirmed that. Mm. Jack Nicholson's... Best friend. Oh. The, Don't do that. The woman who didn't bother to care 
when a girl was being raped by Roman Polanski, Angelica Houston. I'm sure there are other ways to introduce her, but that seems like the appropriate way to introduce her. Yeah, sure. The woman was like, yeah, sure, if you keep fucking a 13-year-old. Hollywood. Cool. Let's read the back of this DVD, because it's supposed to be no, an episode of back. on this. <laughs> Not in this highbrow No, it just says nothing. That rips the lid off super secret underground beer competitions yeah it's from beer competitions in oh, the sorry, yeah. 24 hours a day 24 beers do we to read it properly yeah go on not in this highbrow comedy that rips the lid off super secret underground beer competitions like a short of alcoholic version of fight club shouldn't they be <laughs> after humiliating for a start America's unlikely team vows to risk life limb and liver to dominate Germany's ultimate sugar local championship the love shot on the house. Please take responsibility and treat women with respect. Nine. <laughs> oh, that's I really good. shouldn't have opened these crisps. Yeah. Oh. Really fucking uh, um. That is uh, nicked good flavour. The best flavour is original. Yeah. Shot. And baba. <laughs> um. Oh, I made you laugh. A German with a sense of humour, yeah? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, do not look at our history. Are you mad that you watch this movie? Nein. Mr. German? Ich liebe Deutsch. You're never mad. German <laughs> mad. Oh, only Austrians get mad. <laughs> Germans get even. Never tell us the odds. <laughs> we love Stoffos. We are big fans of Stoffos. How do you get even? In any way possible. How did you get even with a certain Mr. Hitler? Who does he think he's kidding? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, he had to kill himself. That was, he had to take himself out of the game. Congratulations, you played yourself. <laughs> Back in the radiator. I didn't even and know Deutschland Kallied. didn't even know we had Germans in the radiator. <laughs> I'm not from the radiator. Where are you from? Germany. Deutschland. Back to Germany. Nein. <laughs> Back to Brexit Britain for you, are you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm already in Brexit. Nein, 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 nein. Why, where That's is international territory. <laughs> Anything goes. Sometimes I even come across Swedish. Why? <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Oh, it's fun times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Has to do any Deutsche? What? Can you speak a Deutsch? I'm sorry. I don't understand what you're saying. This is not good. Don't they Esther la biblioteca? Oh, English? Down the road, oh, first the sh- Links or right? Yeah, just down the road. Links or right? Um, Links or direct? Direct, yeah, direct. Nine, nine. No, not nine Links. miles. Oh. Eight miles. 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 Oh, you don't get I get even with you. <laughs> How do you get even? Yeah, check your message. <laughs> That's disgusting. I don't want Shizerborn on my on my phone, alright? That's 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 a stereotype. I didn't even know that's, you recorded that when I was doing not, it. That's not what that's not what oh, we oh, oh, see what's happening. Oh now. no! Oh, get back oh, in the my character! Oh, back in the radiator. I'm trying to be a method actor. Yeah, get back in the radiator. I just want to, I'm not going back. You can't take get me back. back. In the radiator. I'm here. Get back in I'm here. I'm Giamatti. Get used to it. Oh. Get back in I want to be in a comedy. I'll get Jim Bullpen down. Okay. We can, we can do a bunny cup film. Jim Bullpen doesn't like you because he, he knows you upset me. He knows you upset me. Don't bless you. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Oh, did somebody say my favourite word? Yes. Come here, big boy. Oh. <laughs> Can Who's you get this? rid of Paul for me, please? Hi. He's an unwanted tenant. Oh, welcome, Paul. No, don't my favourite actor of don't. all time. 
Except this isn't for, how it's supposed to go. for me. Whatever happened to Yes and? Yes, and I love you. Ha ha ha! Andrew, please ask me the question. Don't punch him! Andrew, ask me a question. Don't punch him. Don't punch him. Don't punch him. If I move my mouth, he will hit me. It's, right, just sign it. It's sign T- it. If I, it. It's T Rex just... style. If you make a move. Right. He um... will... I'm right. leaving! Oh, thank God. I'm taking my best friend with me. Go right. on, Johnny! Um. Ah, be best I am not his best friend anymore. It was a very eye opening three seconds. We asked him to change the plot. Jim, Is that not a thing we do in this country? Jim Poole's lost his way to the radiator. Can you oh, show him? no. Can you, can you show him? I'm leaving. Yes, and, oh, <laughs> yes, and you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> Ah, uh, Paul followed him anyway. Ah, Why did the room pop back in? <laughs> Just say fuck you. Andrew asked. No, I made it with my mouth. Oh shit! He just sucked himself in. Ask that was terrifying to see. Back. I've never seen something quite as horrific as if you've seen something just that. Someone sucking himself in. I don't want to think about it. Hey, Madge, watch Beer Fest. No. Are you beer mad? No. <laughs> are you are you mad that the concept I'm, of beer I'm, exists I'm ever so slightly movie mad. I did ask that. I, I don't care no about that. I have no feelings about to... beer at all except for pure hatred. And so that's a feeling? Two feelings. That's not a very German anti-hatred. feeling either. That's a very Austrian feeling. I'm not a very German person. No, you're very Austrian. <laughs> <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Green giant. Would you watch more Broken Lizard films? If you had Would I have choice? a choice? <laughs> if you had the choice, <laughs> would you continue um, I fighting? I think I would, yeah. Until you hit that one that everyone talks about. Yeah. The yeah. one film everyone talks about. Yeah, I'm going cool. <laughs> It's the reason well, I left that towards the end. What are we watching uh, tomorrow? Tomorrow? Well, we're back on the main feed tomorrow. Oh, right. It's Wednesday, so it's our usual of thing. Of course, I knew that. Because so it's Tuesday course, today. Of course, we're you know back to doing things because Owen and Luke and, I guess, Andrew weren't around the brothers yeah. three so we have to do more yeah well but in two days time in two days time two days time we'll be doing the criminally underseen broken lizard movie mm. now don't tell them the last time you told them the title but we, we want to keep it a surprise right? okay this one's got a dead guy in it okay so it's like club dread it's got a dead actor okay. in it okay and will forte's back okay so it's Just got that you do don't say the simon sam kobe smolders in it um, so it's two people from How I Met Your Mother. Possibly Fish is involved. No. No? No, not the band. Ah. Uh, someone's got lipstick. Well, this is going to be interesting. Is um, it? Michael Clark Duncan's in this one. He's so dead. I'm, I'm, well done. I'm intrigued. I'm excited. Hmm. Um, yeah. Well, it's easily and the best work Broken Lizard has ever done. One, step, one further step the up the mountain. Look, this one's from the creators of Super Troopers and Beer Fest, so it tells you that uh, Club Dress is not important. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. bring it on. No, no, Slam and Salmon. Oh. Film. Shh, don't, film tell, don't tell him Slam <coughs> What? It's, don't tell them the title. Oh, it's the Michael Clark Duncan film that's a comedy. Talladega Nights, The Battle of Ricky Bobby. Still haven't seen that. Don't. No, I don't. I tried watching it in 4K, now it's on 4K on Netflix, and there's just still not much to yeah, go I'm on. Yeah, I'm surprised. It's Will Ferrell film. It's not great. No, it's an Adam McKay film. Academy Award winner Adam yeah, McKay. Will Ferrell, isn't it? Yeah, but... It's Academy Award winner Adam McKay. Yeah, but, but Adam McKay won an award, Oscar. Yeah, Adam McKay won an Oscar. You know that. Yeah but, yeah, but Adam McKay won a fucking Oscar. Yeah. What the fuck is that about? Should we watch that? The Big Short. It's good. Yeah? Yeah. Is it good on the watch? Mm. It's I'll funny. Maybe I'll do It's that. enjoyable. I just might, you know. Just might. Well then. Huh? Well then. Go. Yeah. Do it. Alright, I will. Bye. No, no, the copy in the radiator. <laughs> that's the best part of it. The what? The copy I left in the radiator for you. Oh. Um, it's the only copy in the world. Yeah, I'm not that fast. Uh, I've got the toys that made us season two. No, nope, Netflix have put that in the radiator. Now. I asked them to upload that directly to the radiator. What isn't in the radiator that I can watch? Beer. I can watch beer. You can watch beer. As long as I don't have to taste it. No, I, no, I it's mind. a sensorama. Mmm. I'll There's a straw. It. I'll have to smell it. There's a straw it. and it goes across the room and into your mouth. And you drink a beer. Right. Well, drink it up. I 
Looks like I'm going to radiate. Very fast. Very fast. There's no, there's no beer in the radiator. No. There's anything you want in there. That's the way you need it. Anything you want it. It's a beer destroying gun that I can get in the radiator. Okay, that's not a thing. There's more of me too. Here we gun. go again. It's doing early previews right there, only in the radiator. Where we're going in episode 100. No, no, <laughs> it's going to be out of the radiator by then. Speaking of which, I'll need your unlimited card. <laughs> yes, if you want to email in your unlimited card number, that's iMovie. Do you know what? I've got other friends, so I've got an unlimited cards. Cool. So I can just get an unlimited um, ticket with their unlimited card. Yeah. Because we'll probably go on a work day or something. Um, like, because it'll be the day of release, we'll go on a Friday. Evening. No, Friday daytime. No. Morning. No, you're doing Thursday it. night and midnight. You're doing uh, it Friday or Saturday asleep, evening and I'll take when everyone's singing along on the super screen, dancing and dressing up. Are we? Is that you what are. we're doing? You are. We are. Yeah. We are. Yeah. Listen. I'm going to dress up as a person who doesn't want to be there Listen, and isn't. You, 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 you're coming. Um, <laughs> I will sit outside. No, you won't. I'll sit outside. I will put... You're too devoted to, the, to this podcast. I'm not that <laughs> devoted to this podcast. You are. I will shut it down in episode 99 if it has to be. <laughs> Look at me. I'm not joking. I will shut it down. Oh, if it's the opportunity, I can't wait for like after August when I can just shove this in your face the entire time. What were you going to shove in my face? This. Ooh, hello. All right, see you next. Ding time. dong. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Are you moving mad? Is part of the Podnose Network, the UK's leading independent entertainment podcasting network, produced and edited by Andrew Jones, executive producer George Grimwood. To find out more about Podnose's network, go to www.podnose.com.